Good morning, YouTube. We've got another fun day, so I thought I would share. We're cutting down a huge maple tree today. Hey, Colton, come back here for size reference. Here's the tree. We've got some good obstacles here. The wire, the house drop wire that goes to the house. We've got another house drop wire that goes to the neighbors. We've got some uh, high power electrical wires there. And there's a little overhang on that, but this tree is pretty fat. We'll have Colton stand by it so he can show you the size of the trunk. I'm six foot. It's not the biggest tree we've ever cut down, but it's definitely video worthy. So this tree, once again, was about a hundred feet away from where I'd be setting my crane up. And that's just a little bit too far in my opinion. So I went ahead and rented the uh, national 60 ton with 151 foot of main boom. today we've got Colton Felipe Calvin came to play Oops. <laughs> who put that there <laughs> Calvin's gonna be climbing with me Dan and we've got Marcus What's up? who actually just came to help us on a job on the lake the other day so this is the national crane it is the NBT 60 XL. Marcus, how much counterweight does this have? 16,000 pounds, 151 feet of main boom. 16,000 pounds of counterweight. Uh, for a boom truck, this thing is probably one of the highest in its class. Um, it's tri drive, so these are all down at the same time. And these are huge tires. These are, uh, would you say garbage truck tires? Basically, yeah, 315s. They're the same tires that would be on the front of a garbage truck. But yeah, this thing is basically, I keep tripping over things, basically a brand new crane. I think it's six months old. We had to take this little retaining wall apart a little bit here. But yeah. This crane can pick about 8,000 pounds at 80 feet away. So almost almost a similar capacity to a Grove all-terrain crane, the 3055. This is very similar to like the 3055 or the 30 Grove 3060 crane. It is 921. I'm guessing that we'll be doing the stump cut in about four hours. So 1021, 1121, 1221, 121. We should be doing the stump cut. We'll see. Here we go. All right. First pick of the day will be the closest one. And we are going to go big on this one. I'm going to set four slings. 
Let's get a little view of the neighborhood. Let's see if we can see the Capitol. Run me to the top. Oh, I can see the Capitol. Yeah, I can see the Capitol and I can see uh, Lake Monona right there. It's always a nice view when you're hanging from the crane. All right, you can boom down. There's the tree. A lot of trees in this neighborhood. Cable down. Stop. And cable down a hair more. Oh, actually, I can't have you do that. I'm the cable up, actually. Cable up more. And stop. Who just woke up? That's nice. It's nice when they're a little bit older and they start sleeping in. Hey Marcus, with pretension to like probably 3,000 right away. I'm gonna say 5,500 all day. Haha! <laughs> My guess was 5,500. That's a big cut with a 36 inch bar. And Marcus said it's 5,400. So I'm gonna win this one because Calvin only thought it was 45. <laughs> oh. Okay. So you can boom up. That's a big piece. Keep cutting them like that and this tree's not gonna take very long. And if you can cable up a little bit before you start swinging left. I must say, 
My favorite chainsaw right now is my uh, West Coast 660. And this is a full mod saw built by Gordy himself. I feel pretty uh, lucky to have this saw. It rips. This piece is next, and then this one, then that one. cable up keep cable on it nice and slow is that loose yeah. all the way all right I've got a little tag rope on this Marcus I'm gonna untie that now I'm gonna say 3,500 all day. Cable up, Marcus. Uh, this piece is 2,800. How much were we good for, Marcus? And we were good for 10,000. But this will be an easy one to lay down. So here's my little lanyard redirect with the imp. Hey, I like it. You like it? Anything that makes our job easier, right? Yeah. <laughs> Eighteen hundred and fifty pounds. <sighs> it's nice to have that tip height for going over the neighboring trees.
Oh, that actually came off really nice. Uh, let's loosen up that blue rope. I mean, it doesn't get much nicer than that. Okay, cable up. And boom up. We've got some uh, nice wires back here. So we're, we did really well on this piece. How much does that one weigh, Marcus? Swing left right away. Good. 3,000 pound piece, good for how much, Marcus? Okay, uh, that piece was 3,000 pounds. And we are good for 7,000 pounds at 90 feet away, you said? Good for 7,000 pounds at 90 feet away, and that was 3,000. Three thousand. That turned out nice, huh? Definitely not a pretty cut, but I think we got it. <sighs> All right, slowly cable up. Oh, that's not that bad, actually. All right. Uh, Good for 7,000 on this piece. What are we at, Marcus? What kind of weight, Marcus? I'm gonna say 43. Oh, he doesn't have any comm. You're gonna have to bump him in, Calvin. Uh, we said 43. <laughs> we said 4,300. I think Calvin and I agreed on that one. And we're at, the piece weighs 4,250 pounds. And I ran out of bar. I needed a little bit bigger bar on that one because I'm only running the 20 inch bar, but we made it work. So we were thinking about taking, cutting it right here and taking that all in one but we we're only good for 6,800 and I think we made the right decision. We would have been pushing the crane to the limit. We got wires here. So the safe thing to do was take it in two. You could just call us Mr. Safety. <laughs> You're on Canon camera. <laughs> Good for 6,800. Good for 7,000. And this is a 2,500 pound piece. And that will be nice and easy to set down.
This next piece is kind of like a big triple lead. There's three branches coming off of it. I don't know if you can see that. And then this is like bigger diameter wood. I had to switch to the 36 inch bar, the West Coast saw. Um, we're good for 7,000 right here. This piece could easily be in that 5,500 pound, 6,000 pound range. And it's also the last brush pick. So after this piece, we're gonna be doing one big piece of wood here. And then we're gonna switch to the trunk. It's 11.30, making a good time here. Okay, I'd say put a, uh, put at least 3,000 on it right away. <laughs> start booming up now. What? It doesn't get much better than that. Okay, stop right there. Stop your cabling up though. Let's just boom up and kind of hold the line because it is bumping into a little branch. Booming up, keep booming up. And we're away from that little branch. Now it's all yours, so you can do whatever you want. All right. I'm going to say that's 5,800. I'm going to say that's 5,800. What is it, Marcus? <laughs> oh, that's a light one. Okay. So that's only 40. Marcus says it's only 4,800. We are good for 7,000, Marcus? We are good for 7,000. That's only 4,800. But look at the size of this cut. That's a big cut with a 36 inch bar. Good job, Calvin. <laughs> Should have went bigger. <laughs> Should have went bigger. cable up I'm guessing that's a 2200 pound How much is it? 2300. Marcus says it's 2300. My guess was 2300. Okay, Calvin. If, Calvin. No, he said it was 2300. Okay, Calvin, if that's 2300, how much are these two pieces? 
Really? We're trying to figure out how big we can go on the next cut here. I think it's gonna be six grand all day. Knuckle wood, man. I guess we'll find out. Should I? Or should I just dip here for the glory? Huh? No? Oh. You tap in, Calvin. Just got uh, bumped out with the crane operator, so. <laughs> We need to get communication back before we pick this. That was a beautiful, nice clean cut. We call that the tilt back cut. We sliced right through with the 36 inch bar and tilted back perfectly. We got a neighbor over here enjoying himself. Sitting in the chair. Okay, we got communication with the crane operator. We're gonna go ahead and slowly lift this up. Let's cut through all the way, Marcus. Uh, probably boom up to take it off. Are you still there, Marcus? Yeah. You're cut through all the way. How are you on weight? Yep. Gosh, I think that that's got to be 5,500. How much does it weigh, Marcus? 4,800 pound. Big wood pick. We were good for 7,000. We are the safest tree company out there. <laughs> Just to give you an idea how big this piece is. That's a 660 with a 36 inch bar. We're into the big wood now. The chainsaw, the chainsaw started to walk around a bit, so this cut is not pretty. But, but I think, I think we're cut through all the way. Let's put a little, 
tension on it. Oh, and Marcus, if for some crazy reason this is insanely heavy, you could cable down really fast and not damage anything back here. Just in case. Don't think that you have to commit. <laughs> We're about to slide off the stump here, Marcus. Maybe boom up. So it doesn't drift out on you when it does come off. Stop right there. We're gonna bump into the power line. Oh, all yours. God, that looks like 6,500 to me. Nah, now nah, I'm I'm so curious. What is it, Marcus? Oh. 6,450. <laughs> <laughs> Good for 7,000? <laughs> yes. Good job. Oh, oh, we were actually good for eight, and it was 6450. So once again, we are super safe. <laughs> I'm I'm the safest guy I know. Alright. One more cut here. Okay. Do you have anything to say, Felipe? Uh, thanks for the burrito. Oh, you, did you eat already? <laughs> yeah. Good job. That, that's a lump, huh? Yeah. Marcus, this is all yours. Little baby piece. Yep. Sure. And swing right right away. <laughs> oh yeah. little 2,000 pound piece. So that one weighed 2,500. The other one weighed 6,500. We would have definitely been overweight. That would have been 9,000 pounds and we were only good for 8,000. So that would have been bad, huh, Marcus? Could have got interesting. So we made the right choice, took it in two pieces. Hey, that turned out pretty nice. Yeah, I was trying to find where the steel was. Probably right there. I guess that. Is that a, oh, it's a screw. Oh, screw. Just caught that. the top. We almost missed it. So when I said when I... Why are you hitting all the screws? <laughs> I wrapped around. You should have like, known really better. Here. I was hoping the rock never moved. What is it? Yeah, we'll send it right back. Very nice. Oh yeah, I forgot.
got the check. So stump is cut. 119. 120. <laughs> I I gotta look back to the footage, but I think I said we want to get the stump cut by 120. 1021, 11, 21, 12, 21, 121. We should be doing the stump cut. Get it down right there. It's gonna work out really nice. I like this truck. Because we would have had to take a super pop off, you know? This is nice. Yeah. Fine. Yep. Keep going now. Oh, yeah, 20. gonna be the perfect width. Yep, it's looking nice. All right, so we got the tree all cut down, everything's cleaned up. We decided to leave the stump a little bit high so Tinley and Jackson can jump off. Do you guys want to, can I see you guys jump off? <laughs> you guys are a little bit crazy. So everything, everything went really smooth. I'm glad that we ended up taking the trunk into two pieces because uh, it ended up being pretty heavy. So how, how do you think everything went? Real smooth. E excellent, yes. excellent. Everything was done in a safe way and uh, cleanup was uh, more than you can expect. Besides the trunk being there, you can't even tell that you cut a tree down today. So if you guys came across another big tree that you needed to cut down, you might hire us again? Oh yes, sure. for sure. <laughs> awesome. I was hoping we'd find a big rotten spot in the middle <laughs> of the floor. Right? So we just got to my friend's house in the purple truck. <laughs> We're gonna jump up. We're gonna dump off these uh, big logs here. I can show you a couple other big logs Wait, that we've dumped the, in the past. I wanna be the cameraman. And, and uh, Ruby, I got Ruby to come with me. Say hi to Ruby. Hello. Say hi to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. I'm scared. <laughs> technical term for that thing like a springboard springboard yeah this is a board for my my springboard that I got from I've got a it's called the part that you bolt on here is called a springboard toe yep. so that was kind of worn, worn holy. I think this one's 
This is probably the best one. Could be. God damn, that thing's gonna be heavy. Oh, oh yeah, if you get the bark off, it probably won't be as bad, huh? Oh wow! I thought I could help. <laughs> yeah. So one of these boards, like probably this one, is like 200 pounds.